All right, we're here at the DJI booth at uh, NAB 2015 with uh, Michael from DJI. So, uh, Michael, what do we got this new this year? We've got so much to announce at uh, NAB 2015. Uh, First of all, we've got the DJI Phantom 3. This is the complete revisualization of aerial imaging for DJI. We've basically redesigned all of our most complex technologies and have shrunk it down and made it affordable and accessible so that anybody can get up in the air and take professional shots. Most notable is obviously the 4K camera that comes integrated on board. You're able to see what the camera is seeing using a 720p video downlink at a range of almost a mile. So you're gonna be able to precisely control exactly what's in your frame. The other thing that's really interesting about it is it's got this downward facing camera that's allowing you to shoot in situations where you don't have GPS. So in this hall, for example, you're able to hover up to three meters off the ground and get GPS-like stabilization where you can take your hands off the controls and the platform will just stay locked in place. So uh, for a lot of filmmakers, for a lot of creators, that was one of the things that was really challenging for them is not being able to fly in a lot of really complex situations. Um, we've also integrated a lot more features into the DJI Pilot app. Now this is the app that not only controls the camera for the Phantom, but also for the Inspire as well. With the new app, you're able to stream to YouTube live, and so you could be here in Las Vegas seeing what your friends, the sunset or sunrise over Oahu with your friends flying uh, over the mountains. So that's really exciting. We also have a new director function, which uh, allows you to tag your favorite moments of your flight while you're in the air. And then once you land, director edits all your favorite mo moments together you choose a template, choose a soundtrack, and then you can post it immediately to Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. So a lot more options for creativity, a lot more options for sharing built inside this platform. So it's almost like, uh, it seems like a uh, Inspire Junior, I guess, right? Or maybe a, a Phantom, uh, I don't know, Extra or something like this. It's like this hybrid, right, between the two the two drones. So can you sort of tell us the sort of the comparison between the camera on here and the stabilizer and the motion and all that compared to the Inspire one? Like, like what, uh, what's uh, being sacrificed to bring the price point down? Well, uh, there's a few things that are different from the Inspire that make it more ideally suited for professionals. So obviously the most important thing is the two operator control. So with the Inspire, you can have one person flying and another person precisely controlling the camera movements. And for a lot of people that are doing commercials or professional filmmaking, this is a really important function to be able to have so you get exactly what you want in the shot. The, the Phantom 3 doesn't include that. Also, the camera on the uh, Phantom, or the Inspire 1 is modular, so you're able to take it off, and uh, we have a lot more of exciting uh, announcements for that gimbal mount, but the most immediate thing is that that camera takes off and then we'll be announcing a handheld stabilizer that you can use that camera on the ground for later on. And then also the, um, the remote control for the Inspire 1 has an HDMI out, whereas the uh, Phantom 3 does not. So if you're really wanting to see on a monitor exactly what you're shooting, or plug into a, a live streaming device or an Atomos recorder, the Inspire 1 is the ideal platform for that. So the Phantom 3, though, has stabilization on the camera. Has it pan tilt as well, or just stabilization? Uh, just tilt, just tilt. So you're able to get really smooth shots. You're able to uh, finally control the camera movements using some of the key features that are built inside the controller. So no longer do you have to take your hands off the controller to angle the camera or start, stop, record. All of that's integrated. Even exposure compensation or setting the ISO can be done with a flick of a few buttons on the controller. So we're really excited about this. And I think for filmmakers, anybody who's passionate about aerial imaging, this is going to be a fantastic platform. Not only only to start with, but also to take anywhere you want to go. So can you tell us more about the, um, the recording format? So you mentioned 4K, but do you have uh, any info for us about like the bit rate or the frame rate or, or anything? It shoots 4K at 30 uh, FPS, and it also records in .MOV and .MP4 formats. It shoots uh, photos in 12 megapixel stills, and that's also in DN Adobe DNG RAW or JPEG. Now we have two versions. One is the professional and one is the advanced. The professional has the 4K built on board. The advanced has 1080p at 60 FPS. Uh, that's at a more 
uh, consumer friendly price point for people who don't necessarily operate in 4K. Very good. So speaking of the price point, can you tell us uh, how much it is and when people can expect to or uh, be able to get theirs in the mail? <laughs> so it's available for pre-order right now on DJI.com and the Phantom 3 Pro is available for $1,259 and the Phantom 3 Advanced is available for $999 and it should be uh, shipping within the next few weeks. All right, very good. Michael, thanks so much. Anytime.